Tesla releases FSD Beta 10.69. Tesla cars are now uncrushable. Imagine a world where a car crash is a myth. Tesla is on the verge of making it happen soon. Tesla's full self-driving software, which is currently priced at $12,000, will be increased by $3,000 to $15,000 on September 5th in North America, corresponding with the widespread release of the 10.69.2 beta upgrade. How are these brand new Tesla cars? Are they crash-proof? Stay tuned to know more about it. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hit the like, and for more such Tesla-related news, subscribe to our channel. And also don't forget to press the bell icon. Having said that, let's get started. The early release version of Tesla has just begun to be sent to beta testers, and results are coming in to determine if this upgrade is worth the price hike. The latest version began spreading to about 1,000 testers this weekend, and patch details have been made available online. Tesla CEO Elon Musk, who announced the price rise earlier today, termed it a huge code update and a significant step forward. Prices will increase to $15,000 on September 5th, while orders placed before but delivered after September 5th will be fulfilled at the previous price of $12,000. Tesla has increased the cost of its driverless driving system FSD, software by $1,000 for vehicles purchased between 2016 and 2019. According to the company's logic, as software grows more powerful, it also becomes more valuable. However, it serves as an incentive for Tesla customers to buy the software early to lock in reduced rates. When Tesla raises the price, some current owners opt to purchase the software to avoid being left out. What exactly is full self-driving? Unfortunately, Tesla's full self-driving is still far from self-driving. As it stands, the system is still classified as Level 2 in the SAE's Autonomous Driving Classification, similar to the other driver aid systems like GM's Super Cruise and Mercedes Intelligent Drive. However, MB has a Level 3 system, Drive Pilot, that will be available in the US shortly. The most recent version of Tesla's Autopilot software is significantly improved over earlier versions, yet it still has difficulties. A Level 2 system demands a driver to be present and alert to the road at all times, including while taking their hands off the wheel. It behaved nicely for most of the journey, but that's not enough when you're sitting along a cliff or passing by people in motorbikes. Does FSD alter your driving style? Currently, Tesla Full Serve Driving does not represent a significant shift in how a driver operates their car. You must sit still in your seat and pay attention to the road. You can't have your car drop you somewhere and then go find parking or drive itself while you read the paper, work on spreadsheets, or watch a movie. These advantages are essentially covered in the basic autopilot package that is included on all Teslas. The beta version of FSD only stops at stop signs and traffic lights, but auto steer will be available on city streets shortly. Packages with enhanced autopilot facilities like auto lane change, auto park, and smart summon will cost $6,000 each. If you had access to state or municipal incentives, the same bundle would pay for a full 2023 Chevy Bolt. The new EV tax credit from the Inflation Reduction Act may even pay for the entire Bolt once it goes into effect. Is Tesla's full self driving capability worthwhile? So based on what we've seen and the impending price hike, is FSD worth it? While early testers appear to be generally pleased with the update's enhancements, $15,000 is still a hefty sum, and it's certainly not more reasonable than the prior pricing as Musk originally indicated, was Tesla's goal. For early Tesla customers who purchased FSD as early as 2016, it's difficult to conclude that the thousands of dollars they paid was beneficial, considering their cars are still unable to drive themselves. Some of those vehicles may approach the end of their useful lives before the complete self-driving is achieved, resulting in money being spent on software that was never delivered. Tesla may someday provide a loyalty program similar to what it does in China, where it offers FSD for half the price if an owner buys another Tesla and has FSD on their first one. Elon Musk claims that a $12,000 investment in self-driving software may be worth more than a new car by the time it's available to the public. But that's a hefty if, especially since authorities would have to authorize it before vehicles could drive themselves. Do you believe the value of full self-driving will rise quickly enough in the future to make paying today worth the investment? If you believe Elon, you'll have to wait until next year to find out. Whichever year that is. Having said that, as we have come to the end of this video, let us know your view on this. If you want to be updated on every single topic related to Tesla or Elon Musk, consider subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell icon. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.